Hello everyone, welcome back to Baldur's Gate and the Adventures of Jay Schlatt. I'm here with the titular character. And it's time. We're here to defeat Saravok. Uh, or... I guess not. There's... More people in the way. There is a ritual... Thing. Oh, Xan leveled up. Hi, little Xan. Good of you to choose to do that. Um, proficiency slots. Uh, I don't know, honestly. I feel like that's not really much of a thing, you know? But, okay. We must continue. He's in here somewhere. Um, a rather strange place to meet living members of the Sunlit Realms. I am curious as to why you are here. Could I rightly assume that you have something in common with the man Saravak Anshev? Before we say anything more, would you be willing to tell us who you are? I am Ravin, and my friends are I and I are mercenaries in the employ of the Iron Throne. Uh, we've been sent to hunt down Saravak. Seems as if he went crazy and started murdering all who got in his way, including Realtar and the throne t don't take too highly- or don't take too well to having their high-ups killed. You know, the longer I talk to you, the more familiar you become. You're Jay Schlatt, aren't you? Well, well, well. It seems as if we've gotten lucky. Killing you won't give us a nice hefty bonus. Sorry about this, but you're not wanted dead or alive. Only dead. Well- Time for them to die. You need me? Kill Robin. Nature servant awaits. Kill Hasio. Uh, yes. You kill Gorf. Dead. You kill Shaldrissa. You cast Fireball right there. Our quest is vain. And you cast Color Spray right there. Kill them all. Very good. All right, can we rest? Very spooky. Very, very spooky. At once. Any loot to be gotten? Gold, gold. Yes. Can I literally not carry any more gold? I don't know what that is. Uh long uh, unidentified longsword. Unidentified arrows. Gold. Clairvoyance. More gold. More quarter staves, staves. Sorry, quarter staves. Another fireball scroll. Nice. I really don't think we're gonna need that much gold, but I think maybe it like carries over if we do the siege of whatever the fuck. Something troubling you? Yeah, I don't know. But we've got what stuff now. We must find Saravak. You well your next move. I'll not allow this to continue. Do what? I have been nothing but a good person, Jahara. You know it. You know I have been nothing but a good person. I am an innocent soul. But those fucking flaming fist assholes. I'm oh hi Tamako. These Hello again. Troubled times. Hello again, Jake Schlatt. I fear this time I have not come to speak and must take up arms against you. You have you have done what you must, I suppose. Saravak knows of my treachery, you know. He has forsaken me and left me to die in your path. I must fight to regain his trust, his attention. And so I stand before you, knowing that if I defeat you, he will continue his plans elsewhere and I shall lose him. And if you defeat me, you shall go on to kill him. He will not yield to either of us. I have... I have no choice. There is always choice. Do not throw your life away. There may always be choice, but choosing has become unbearable. 
I have but two duties, and both leave me little hope. No, young one, I must face you now. I will not harm you. You are not my enemy. You must. I stand before you. I block your path. I am an obstacle that holds you back. You will free... You will fight me. Um... If... Ah, oh man. These are not good choices. If I must kill you to pass, so be it. I do so for giving you your transgressions against me. And chaos shall be sown in the land as in the hearts and minds. So it was written. Aw, oh, that's sad. You need me? Anywho, let's fucking kill her. You spoke at me? Your voice is ambrosia. Life is so I'm here to help. Poor Tamako. That's sad. Yes. You've attacked me too. Poor Tamako. Rip. Rip. Rest in pieces. Um. I don't know. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Doesn't say what it does because we don't have it identified, but here it is. Let us face Saravak. Let's put him down. Angelo and Samaj is here. Okay. I reckon they're up here. Indeed, family. No other could have lived to oppose me in person. Of course, it will not matter in the end. Ultimately, I will prevail, and a new era will be born unto the realms. Um, there must be another way, brother. We could rally and fight this evil together. Do you not yet realize there is no great evil to fight save that within ourselves? But together, we could face such evil, regardless of its source. Together, we could be stronger. Face me! Face the new Lord of Murder! Uh, I cannot be tamed. I am strong now. It is you who are the weak one, who de you who destroyed your slayer within. I have tamed mine and use him as I see fit. The god is dead, but his power is there, waiting for a will. That will is mine, and all others will fall by the wayside. Come and face your brother. Face me. Face the new Lord of Murder. Angelo, Tazok, reveal yourselves and let's finish this now. I agree. Let's finish this now. Here we go. Kill him. Uh, use your crossbow. There. Servant awaits. Yes. This better be good. Oh, we should have leveled up Monteron. Uh oh. Actually, wait. No, hang on. Magic missile on Cerebok. Color spray on that one. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Defeat him. We must vanquish him forever. Hi, Xenum. Poor Saravok, man. I did everything I could.
I did everything I could to try and stop him peacefully. I tried to do what Tamako told me to spare him, but he wouldn't. But he wouldn't listen. And now he lies dead. Rot row. There goes this big statue. Uh, yes, this was my first playthrough. Uh-oh. Why do I have a feeling that that was the bad ending? And there we go. That was Baldur's Gate 1. Uh, yeah. That was... A game. Fate leads him who follows it, and... Only yep. weeks ago, the malevolent Saravak brought the city of Baldur's Gate to the edge of destruction. You, like him, are a child of Baal, the dead god of murder. Baal foresaw his own death and sired mortal children in an effort to bring about his return. Saravak intended to become the new lord of murder. You put an end to Saravak's plans and slew your half-brother. With his passing, you became known as the hero of Baldur's Gate. Now, a new threat casts a shadow over the city. A massive army on a holy crusade has thrown the Sword Coast into turmoil. Little is known of the crusade's leader, the charismatic warrior Kalar Argent. Those who follow her revere her as the Shining Lady, but her background and goals are shrouded in mystery. Some say she is divine, a hero sent by the gods to crush evil no matter the cost. Others whisper that she is another spawn of Baal, intent on following the same path as Saravok. One thing above all else is clear. If the Sword Coast is to find any measure of peace, Kalar Argent must be stopped. Alrighty. Siege of Dragon Spear. Hell yeah. I have no more room for that. Dropped it. Sarawak's dead. Everything's a mess. We should have gotten out of the city days ago. No chance of that now. But Corlage knows what she's doing and... Hey, did you hear that? We'd better tell the boss. Come on. Ugh. Smells like moldy bones down here. Chamber is secure, well, hero. Here we are in a creepy old tomb again. The last of Saravok's followers are down here. According to the Flaming Fist, all you gotta do is find their leader and bring her to justice. What do we know of our prey? They're mostly mercenaries, led by a wizard named Corlaz. This is her family's tomb. She aided Saravok, and the Grand Dukes want her dead or alive. We better be careful. Let's get to it then. I'll follow behind you with these flaming fists. If you need help with anything, just ask and I'll do what I can. All right, thank you, Emma Wynn. There's a healer here too. Talk to her if you need any bandaging. She also knows all about fighting undead. Thank you. Time more is shine on you. Not that you'll need it. Thank you.
But I think that's going to be a good place to end this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. And next time we will beginning we will be beginning the Siege of Dragon Spear. Very 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 cool. Very excited about that. And uh yeah, thank you for watching.